Hello boys and girls, it's so awesome to see you once again. This is a beautiful week that I've been really waiting for. Do you know why? It is VBS! Yes, we are going to have our VBS and we are going to learn together. Who can remember what the theme is? The fruit of the spirit. Yes, that's what we are going to learn this week. And we have so much lessons that we are going to learn together with fun activities. And our teachers have prepared for you and they are looking forward for you to come and learn together. So I just want to welcome you for this week. Each and every day we are going to learn together and I know we are going to have fun together. So I'd like us to pray so that we can start our week with our day one of VBS. Do you want to do something with me? Kindly stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Yes, now I want you to stretch your hands wide. Have you stretched them so wide? Yes, and now take them up slowly. Up slowly, 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 and touch them together. Then bring them down, 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 and where your heart is. And I want us to pray. Can we pray together? Yes. Lord, we thank you so much for this week, the week that we have been waiting for so that we can learn together. We pray that the Holy Spirit will help us to have the fruit of the Spirit in our hearts, in our lives, and in each and every day of our living. We thank you for our teachers who are going to teach us. God, we pray that you'll continue to give them uh, wisdom and continue to help them to teach us well. I we also want to thank you for all the children who are watching us today and learning together with us. We thank you because of your awesomeness and your love and your goodness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome to our VBS. Hello children, I'm very happy to see you. Um, I, you happy to see me? I hope you said yes. My name is Teacher Job and I'll be taking you through some lessons about the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Those lessons are found in a book that looks like this. Have you ever seen a book that looks like this? Do you know what it's called? It's called the Bible. If you open the Bible in a book called Galatians, have you ever heard Galatians? It starts, it starts with sound G, like for girls, and then sound A, and then sound L, like for lion, and then there's a sound SH, and then there's sound N, like for a nest, and then S at the end. So you say Galatians. So if you read in the book of Galatians, Chapter 5, verse 22, it will tell you about the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And to help you remember the fruits of the Holy Spirit, we'll do it in the form of a song. And uh, the song will be form our memory verse. Galatians, chapter 5, verse 22. It says, The fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, Peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. The greatest of these is love. I would like us to count the fruits from the song that we were, we were singing. And we said, the fruits of the Spirit is love. And then we have another fruit called joy. We have another fruit called peace. We have patience. We have kindness. We have goodness. We have faithfulness. We have gentleness and self-control. How many fruits are those? Did you say nine? Then nine is the correct number. We are going to start with fruit number one. Fruit number one is love. How do you write love? This is how you write love. It, sounds, it starts with sound L, like for lion. Then they sound O, like for oranges. Then we have sound V, like for violin. Then we have sound E, like for elephant. If you put these letters together, they say love. 
we are beginning with the first fruit, love. What is love? Love is when you feel something in your heart. And uh, we learn about love from what God did for us. Love is not a feeling only. It's something that you do for people. And from the Bible that we have looked at, we see about God's love for us. And how did God love us? He sent Jesus to come and die for us. And when Jesus died on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them. And God forgave us, and we became the friends of Jesus. And uh, when you become a friend of Jesus, then he does something in your heart. And you have the fruit of the Holy Spirit in your heart. That's how you have the first fruit, the fruit of love. And the same way that God loved us, he did something good for us by sending Jesus to come and die for us, even as we can love our friends. And how do we love our friends? By doing good things for them. We love our friends by sharing our toys. We love our friends by sharing our snacks. If you go to school and you find somebody who doesn't have a snack, you share what you have. And how do you show love to your parents? You do what your parents have said. Well, you, when you are told to pick something and take it to the kitchen, you take it without complaining. You cooperate with your parents and you take the things to the, to the, to the kitchen. There is a song that tells us about love, which I would like us to, uh, which I would like us to, to, share, to share again. That says, and there is love, 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 love down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the love, 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 love down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. So hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. So that one we have learned about the fruit of love. It is the first fruit in the memory verse that we have shared, the first fruit of love. We are going to learn about the second fruit, the fruit of joy. Do you know how to say joy? Say joy. This is how we write joy. Joy, you, sound, you start with sound G, like for jug, and then there's O again that was there on the fruit of, of, uh, of love, and then you have sound Y. When you put this together, they say joy, the fruit of joy. And what is joy? Joy is when you are happy, you smile, you laugh, you are just express joy with your friends and uh, you are happy in, uh, in, what, in what you are doing. Sometimes you can be sad. Perhaps something good has not happened and you are feeling very bad in your heart. You are not joyful. When you are not joyful, what should you do? You pray. You close your eyes and you tell God, Dear God, I am feeling sad in my heart. Please give me joy. God has told us in the Bible that we can pray and ask him for joy and he'll give us joy in our hearts. And to remember this second fruit, we'll use uh, the song that we, were, we used for the fruit of, of love and now we'll sing about joy. And it goes like this. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, joy, joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the joy of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the joy of Jesus in my heart. And you know what? Sometimes you may find your friends that are not joyful. What should you do? Do you just laugh at them? Ha, 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 you are not joyful. No. You should talk to your friends and help them to have the joy that you have. 
So if you have something, you can share with them. Look for a story to cheer them up. If it is your parents who are not joyful, you can find something to cheer them up and just talk to them and they'll be joyful too. Today we have learned about two fruits. The first fruit was the fruit of love. The second one was the fruit of joy. We have learned about two fruits, joy and love. And we picked them from the song that we were singing as our memory verse from Galatians chapter 5 verse 22, which gave us the song that, that we were singing, that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. The greatest of this is love. And, and that's where we'll end our lesson today. We will learn about another fruit tomorrow. God bless you.